This is Grab Crab version one from February 2020. It only suplexed in testing and at the event, it was basically a lifter. During 2020's lockdowns, I went through a few different designs of what a suplexia grab crab could look like. But the main thing I also wanted was to go four wheel drive. I also spent a bit of time with Gareth building a CNC. So the other aim was to do as minimal hand building as possible because I'm a very lazy person. So after CNCing for friends, I had a go at Grab Crab's uh, new chassis, which screwed together in just an afternoon. I whacked on some spare wheels and then I put in some test electronics to see how it would work. And if it got the position right, it happily suplexed, which it did to old crab. Next up, I made some of my own wheels from laser cut yoga mat, and uh, these were held on with a HDP and T-nut grub screw setup, and this gave it a cool monster truck sort of vibe. I added some end stops to the forks to stop them bending up, and I also coated the wheels in a few layers of rubber cement and latex. I added a locking bar and also made a anti-horizontal setup with plastic forks and wheel protection. So here are my fights at Rapture. First I had Slav King, which is a drum bot. Um, I felt like my forks were well equipped to this. So, and Sam nicely started backwards because he wanted me to suplex him, which is amazing of him. So started with a suplex, very happy about that. Thank you, Sam. And then, uh, yeah, he span up and went sort of forks to drum. Luckily, my hard ox forks seemed to take that okay. Um, and I felt like I was doing all right at this point. Uh, mostly kind of taking the hits and controlling the fight. Um, yeah, knocks Sam over a bit and then he gets underneath me. So far so good, but then he flips me over and in that action he has caught my link. He has sniped it with his drum and that is put me out of action. So sadly ending my first fight with a loss. A very good job to Sam there, his drum bot was a beast that day. My second fight was against Paradigm Spin, a horizontal shell spinner made by Mark. I was running a horizontal setup against him, so plastic forks and sides. I managed to get a nice box rush and a little attempt at a lift on him. Um, but he did manage to get away and spin up, um, but throw himself over. Uh, Excitingly though, he does manage to self right which is awesome. What a cool robot. Um, so I'm going for the pit button at this point because I'm a coward. Uh, he gets up to some speed, but luckily the plastic seems to take it all right. And I go for a very floppy suplex on him then. It was more of a lift, but it does the job. And sadly, he is unable to spin up again. So I do actually get a win here, but he is definitely a very uh, wounded paradigm spin. Still, I'm still gonna take a win. Um, next up, I had a fight against Isaac with rust and pieces that he was running as a SME version. Started with a great lift here, very excited by that. Uh, trying to recreate the P1 versus SME fight essentially. Um, again, going for another lift. Um, so chuffed that I'm actually getting to suplex. Um, so that's all going swimmingly. Uh, Isaac, however, is definitely a better driver than me and he soon learns how to avoid my forks and get around me with his uh, very wide robot. Um, we have a really good tussle here. Isaac hits the, uh, the old pit button with one of his uh, lances. Uh, I'm going for another lift here, charge through and charge myself into the pit. So terrible driving here, but still another fun fight until my failings. Grab Crab is now out of the competition, so it's whiteboard time. First of all, I've got this fight against Crossblow and uh, Tosser, um, which is a nice spinner-free bit of fun. Um, just having a bit of fun, trying to get some suplexes in already. Tosser's got a really good flip, and Crossblow has a uh, lifter. Um, really glad to see how well the forks in general are getting under other robots. And I did some good testing in the arena to see if it would get stuck on the seams or the walls and it never seemed to quite get stuck, which is really, really quite nice. But yeah, um, to actually do a suplex, it always required quite a specific, you know, uh, full, full ramming in to the claws. I'm having difficulties lifting in this fight. I'm not quite sure where it was, but I didn't manage to really lift up either a robot. It seemed to struggle for some reason. Tulsa finds itself in the pit. I tried to take Crossblow in, 
but, but <laughs> managed to catch it myself, slowly wobbling myself in, and then Dorset <laughs> flips me out again, which is great. My final fight of Rapture is a much larger whiteboard with a bunch of uh, lifters and a hammerbot. It's a good bit of chaos, everyone's piling up really, but as usual, I'm in there to try and suplex things, so it's all over the place, but uh, here's a few highlights for Grab Crab, I guess. Uh, trying to lift two robots and failing, getting a nice little flip on F7 over there. Shoving Duya into the pit, rather cheekily. Um, and then spiking the wheel guards of Crossblow and attempting to drag him towards the pit, which is mostly working at this point. However, now I've barbed myself in for the ride, so I'm slowly starting to get dragged in with him as people try and shove me in. Um, but I'm really trying not to go in this pit. I really don't want to go in. Um, so as the three minutes of the fight start to end, I've technically not touched the pit floor. Um, so I'm giving it a good old waggle and managed to escape, which is a really nice conclusion to the event. So that was uh, my run with Grab Crab. It was a real mixed bag, but um, I guess the main thing was the weapon did what it, I wanted it to do. There was definitely some design flaws with uh, the, the lid and base were made from very soft plastic that, that shattered really easily. But yeah, I'm quite happy.